I'm getting really nervous here because my van's been sitting here for 19 days at my sister's house because of the heat wave. I just didn't want to go anywhere. And the van wasn't starting yesterday and I thought, well, maybe I just turned on a light or something got drained on the van while I've been sitting here all this time. Then I charge it up with this thing and it said it had a full charge and then I go to start it this morning and it's not starting. It makes me really nervous, so I don't know what the problem is. So I'm gonna try charging it again. Maybe I need a new battery. Eesh. My name is Solstice Elliot. I'm 46 years old and this is my vlog where I share with you my adventures of how I stay youthful inside and out through conscious living and personal transformation. Thanks for watching Soul Tribes. Subscribe and be part of my tribe. Okay, so as it says it's charging again when it said it was charged and maintaining yesterday. I don't know what happened. Like, how did it get drained again? I wonder what's draining my battery. I showed my sister a YouTube on how I want my hair cut. I'll show you the link in the description box. I find that if I can get my hair cut at home, that saves me money and that means I have more time to play. My nephew Peter actually offered to help me clean out the van and get it ready to set sail again, which I was so super grateful for. Clean washcloths go in that little bin in the library. I just wanted to show you how I organize my van, which gives you a little bit more detail than you got in my van tour video. Look how dusty this is. What's that? Oh uh, yeah, that's why I bought that kind of a mat. You can find a link in the description box below for this welcome mat that I use in the van. It totally helps keep the van totally clean without having to vacuum regularly. It collects a pound of sand. It's amazing. My kale and basil bit the dust in this heat, so I had to replace the basil. You can see that in my previous vlog. I like to keep my snack food stored between the two front seats so I can easily access them while I'm driving. This is my junk drawer where I have things where I can MacGyver and fix things on the road. A lot of these Hondas come with drawers beneath the seats. The garbage is stored between the bed and the dresser drawer, located in just a way that I can reach behind the driver's seat and put garbage in there. Lug nut wrench is stored beneath the driver's seat, as well as an extra place for extra batteries and chargers. Bungee cords are invaluable for all kinds of uses and they're stored underneath the driver's seat as well. Again, I save money by washing my own vehicle rather than paying for a car wash. It just means more time to play later. Connect 
to the hose. So you just do it onto a hose. This is an attachment that my friend Bob made for putting water in the water tanks on the roof. And then how it's attached right there. And then how you can turn it on and off right there at the source without having to go back to the main faucet where the hose is connected. I have 24 gallons stored on the roof of my van. I had them painted black so that they could be solar heated, but I find I never get quite enough sun. So that's why I ended up doing the heat on demand hot water system. Now you can see that it's filling up now. It kind of has to have bubbled out because of the air pockets. And then it will show you the level here when you take out the air bubbles. So flip the switch so you can see that it takes out some of the air bubbles and helps you to know what the level is. You can see the water level starting to fill here. You can kind of see that from filling up the tank. I'm not going to fill it completely full because I'm going to go on a long trip and I don't want to have it too top heavy. So what did you figure out? So you see how you're starting out at about 500 milliamps and then it's starting to drop down. That's what it's supposed to look like. It means your battery's okay. If it's still fine in the morning, then it's good to go. Okay. And then you're going to check my side light and see if that's going to work too. If we can just get that fixed really quick too, that'd be great. Thank you so much, Chase. There's two or three of them. You're going to pull them out. Um, they're old, so they're going to be kind of stiff. What but do I like, use? Like a yeah, get Phillips? Like a flathead screwdriver. A flathead? Put it under there and then pop them out. No, you pull out this cover and then there's going to be a plug for this yellow light underneath here. Okay. So, all right. So then I, it's that it's really easy to pull out. You're saying and to put in. It's not that complicated. No, it's just it's going to be kind of painstaking. Paint. No, you and your sarcasm. Do you like my new haircut? I met a friend of my sister's while I've been staying here in Boise. Her name is Lori, and I'm walking from my sister's house through her neighborhood to her house. She said she has some harem pants that she shrunk, and so they're too small for her. They have butterflies on them that she wants to give me. I love butterflies. When I was a kid, it was always so magical to walk through a willow tree. So let's just give you the best chance that you have of these guys. We have a ton of rosemary. Mm. And my face is good. Rosemary is so tricky and persnickety, I find. So, but no, I can make this make it come alive. Like, we, like give you that. Yeah, chunk. a little chunk. And it's like really like super hardy. Like mint will just grow like invasive if you don't. It will. You it know, will if you don't like you contain it. So, because I had it over in the right? garden. Right, absolutely. It just took over the whole garden. So. I'm c I can make that come to life again. Degree weather. <laughs> so. It's gonna go to the ghost. Hello, Yay. baby mint. Yay! But it has a nice flavor to yeah. it. Yeah. It's, it's stronger than the bigger. So. Oh, oh, it's more of a spearmint then. Yeah. Oh, nice. I'm excited. For you. Yeah. Yeah. I will send you pictures. Very cool. <laughs> With the pants on the beach. <laughs> oh, absolutely. You know it. Very cool. Lori is so kind and so sweet. So she ended up giving me some mint to put in my van because my kale had died. And then she gave me over $100 worth of free doTERRA essential oils because they were a little bit expired, which made me so happy because I love doTERRA. Her and her husband are starting this really cool company. It's called Strybers. It's basically the Airbnb of electric bikes. It's such a brilliant idea. Oh, I am just so tired, but I need to get out of here. I'm just having a hard time motivated to get out of here. I'm very tired from yesterday's cleaning everything and I still gotta load up, there's a lot of things, but I'm excited to get on the road. It's just a, a lot. 
So I think what I'm gonna do now after I've already had coffee and some maca, I'm gonna jump on this trampoline and see if I can get my blood going so I can get out of here. These are the new harem butterfly pants that Laura gave me. battery doesn't need to be replaced so my feeling is if I just drive it more and then worst case scenario I just charge it with the Jackery yeah, you should be fine. okay all right hey thank you so much Chase no problem.